Hey everybody, Coach Sean, the Rip Grandpa, and you know, for the first decade of my 20 year career, I lived my life by these myths. Six small meals a day, never eat carbs after 6 p.m., and always avoid food before bed, because why? Because otherwise, you'll pack on the pounds. Well, research I'm about ready to share is gonna prove the exact opposite is true. That if you eat certain foods after 6 p.m., like carbohydrates, believe it or not, it can help regulate your cortisol, your melatonin cycle, it can help regulate your circadian rhythm, and research even shows that late night carb eaters lose more weight. Now stay tuned to the end of this video because when you eat these late night carbs, you want to make sure that you avoid a specific healthy food in combination with this carb because it can potentially put your body into fat storage mode. And then if I add value and you learn something, please click the like button and share this so we can help more people. So the first study I wanna share with you was done in the journal Nutrition. Brazilian researchers wanted to find out, does late night eating actually make you gain weight? So they took a group of obese women, they put them in a hospital, and they did an 18 day experiment, and they divided them into three groups. One group ate five meals spread throughout the day, the other group ate all their food between nine and 11 a.m. early eating, and then the third group ate all their calories from six to 8 p.m. Now keep in mind, this was very controlled, and they made sure they consumed identical calories because they were in a hospital setting. Now at the end of this study, they measured their weight loss, their body composition, and their resting metabolic rate, and there was actually no difference between all three groups, confirming that eating late at night does not really make you gain weight. In the next published study, the National Institute of Aging partnered with the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and they wanted to see if late night eating made people gain weight. So they took healthy, normal men and women age 40 to 50, they did an eight week study and they divided them into two groups. The first group ate three meals spread throughout the day starting earlier in the day. The second group ate all their calories in a late night four hour window. And at the end of the study, the group that ate three meals lost zero weight and the group that ate all their food at night lost 4.6 pounds. Results of this particular study clearly indicates that eating late at night could be more beneficial for your metabolism and your hormones than eating your calories earlier in the day. And I have a lot more research to share on this in my next video about what to eat before bed. Now, the last and final study I wanna share with you today was published in three different journals. And what they did is a six month trial where they took men and women from age 25 to 55 and they divided them into two groups. They had an experimental group and a control group. Now keep in mind, calories and macros were exactly the same. They consumed between 1,300 and 1,500 calories a day and had the same exact macro split from proteins, fats, and carbohydrates. Group one spread their carbs throughout the day and group two ate all their carbs at dinner time. Now, at the end of this study, the late night carb eaters actually had less hunger and cravings. They lost 11% more weight. They had 10% weight loss from their waistline and they lost 10% more body fat. Now this confirms once and for all that eating late at night does not make you gain weight. In fact, further research shows that by eating a carb heavy dinner like this, you actually help regulate your circadian rhythm because it increases blood sugar and this triggers your body to release more serotonin and melatonin, inducing deeper sleep. You just have to make sure that you're combining the right types of carbs with other foods at dinner time to really enhance and make this effect work. Now that's exactly what we teach you how to do in our customized fat loss coaching program. We'll teach you how to customize this for you, your age, your gender, your current hormonal condition, and your goal. So if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching and you want to truly, truly guarantee that you'll not only lose the weight but keep it off, click the link in the description and go ahead and schedule a call with one of our qualified coaches. So before I close out this video, I want to make good on my promise from the beginning about sharing that one healthy food you should avoid when you eat your late night carbs at dinner time. So my recommendation is about three or four days per week, you have at least a fist-sized serving of a glucose-based starch. Some type of potato or rice variety, in my opinion, are the best choices because this glucose from these carbs are building blocks of weight regulating hormones like thyroid and leptin hormones. Now, the one food that I recommend that you try to avoid, and this is not a hard or fast rule that's going to make or break your results, but it's served me well over the last decade. And that is anytime I eat a starchy carbohydrate with a protein, I always make sure the protein source is a leaner source because if you have something like ribeye with a baked potato, it's not a deal killer, but at the end of the day, because that glucose-based starch from that potato spikes insulin higher and faster than other foods, and then you eat 
a fatty piece of meat with it, you have all this fat floating around in the bloodstream and that insulin will potentially take that fat and store it. Not to mention fattier cuts of animal proteins like that ribeye example actually has about double the calories as a leaner cut like a filet. So over time, this is gonna serve your weight loss goals really well because you're gonna be in more of a calorie deficit. So I always recommend, unless it's a cheat meal or an exception to the rule, that you avoid fats and starches together. Does this mean having an apple with some nut butter is gonna kill you? No. Am I gonna turn down that sweet potato when my wife cooks lamb chops? No, but in general, I try to follow this rule because it keeps my body more in a fat burning environment and it helps keep my calories lower. Now, at the end of the day, all of this is just advice on the latest scientific research and what's personally worked for me for the last decade. You see, after 22 years of doing this, the first 10 years of my career, it was much more difficult to stay lean and healthy because I was adhering to false myths and rules. I don't have time to be eating six small meals a day or going to the gym for two hours now. I mean, I now I'm married, I have four kids and I have 10 grandkids. Back then I was single and I had time to do this stuff. So at the end of the day, if you like eating early in the day and it works for you, don't fix what's not broken. Thanks for watching this and keep going strong.